Welcome back, welcome back, any and all. Glad you all could come back to hear the word. Not only hear the word, be doers of the word. But be doers of the word, glory be to Ahia. I sure hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. It is he that woke us up. We didn't wake ourselves up. No, we can't do that. We can't even breathe on our own, believe it or not. And I sure hope you tell your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Today, we're still in the book of Luke. We're on chapter 10, the work of the 72 followers. Before we begin our reading, do I want to know, are you guys sir, are you guys serving the Lord? Are you guys uh, followers of Christ? Are you guys, your faith is in Christ Jesus? You've been baptized down in water, you've been saved, right? Baptized down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. You're living a life of holiness. You read God's word daily, preferably the King James Version of the Bible, and you go down on your knees in prayer and cry out to the Father in sincerity and truth. You have that personal relationship with him. You hear from him, and you be obedient to his will. And I hope we all live in a life of daily repentance because we live in these fleshly bodies and the flesh is always warring with the spirit. I always tell you the truth because I love you and Father God loves you more. We're going to say a prayer for children of all ages and we're going to get right into our reading. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for every day. Thank you for your protection, Father. Thank you, Father, for giving us parents that love us and train us up by your word. Thank you, Father. For giving us siblings that we love also. And thank you, Father, for teaching us to treat others the way that we want to be treated with love and respect. We love you, my Father. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen indeed. Amen. Amen indeed. Hallelujah. Chapter 10 in the book of Luke. The work of the 72 followers. Later, the Lord chose 72 other followers and sent them out two by two to every town and village where he was about to go. He said to them, a large crop is in the fields, but there are only a few workers. Ask the Lord in charge of the harvest to send out workers to bring it in. Now go, but remember, I am sending you like lambs into a pack of wolves. Don't take along a money bag or a traveling bag or sandals. And don't waste time getting greeting people on the road. As soon as you enter a home, say, God bless this home with peace. If the people living there are peace-loving, your prayer for peace will bless them. But if they are not peace-loving... Your prayer will return to you. Stay with the family, the same family, eating and drinking whatever they give you, because workers are worthy of what they earn. Don't move around from house to house. If the people of a town welcome you, eat whatever they offer. Heal their sick and say, God's kingdom will soon be here. But if the people of a town refuse to welcome you, go out into the street and say, we are shaking the dust from our feet. As a warning to you. And you can be sure that God's kingdom will soon be here. I tell you that on the day of judgment. The people of Sodom will get off easier than the people of that town. The unbelieving towns. You people of Chorazin are in for trouble. You people of Bethsaida are also in for trouble. If the miracles that took place in your towns had happened in Tyre and Sidon. The people there would have turned to God long ago. They would have dressed in sackcloth and put ashes on their heads. On a day of judgment, the people of Tyre and Sodom will get off easier than you will. People of Capernaum, do you think you will be honored in heaven? Well, you will go down to hell. My followers, who's, whoever listens to you is listening to me. Anyone who says no to you is saying no to me. And anyone who says no to me is really saying no to the one who sent me. The return of the 72. When the 72 followers returned, they were excited and said, Lord, even the demons obeyed when we spoke in your name. Jesus told them, I saw, fate, I saw Satan fall from heaven like a flash of lightning. I have given you the power to trample on snakes and scorpions and to defeat the power of your enemy, Satan. Nothing can harm you, but don't be happy because evil spirits obey you. Be happy that your names are written in heaven. Hallelujah. Jesus thanks his father. At that same time, Jesus felt the joy that comes from the Holy Spirit. And he said, my father, Lord of heaven and earth, I am grateful that you hid all this from wise and educated people and showed it to ordinary people. Yes, father, that is what pleased you. My father has given me everything and he is the only one who knows the son. The only one who really knows the father is the son. But the son wants to tell others about the father so that they can know him too. Jesus then turned to his disciples and said to them in private, You are really blessed 
to see what you see. Many prophets and kings were eager to see what you see and to hear what you hear. But I tell you that they did not see or hear. The Good Samaritan, an expert in the law, Moses stood up and asked Jesus a question to see what he would say. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to have eternal life? Jesus answered, what is written in the scriptures? How do you understand them? The man replied, the scriptures say, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, strength, and mind. They also say, love your neighbors as much as you love yourself. Jesus said, you have given the right answer. If you do this, you will have eternal life. But the man wanted to show that he knew what he was talking about. So he asked Jesus, who are my neighbors? Jesus replied, as a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, robbers attacked him and grabbed everything he had. They beat him up and ran off, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going by down the same road. But when he saw the man, he walked by on the other side. Later, a temple helper came to, say, to the same place. But when he saw the man who had been beaten up, he also went by on the other side. A man from Samaria then came traveling along that road. When he saw the man, he felt sorry for him and went over to him. He treated his wounds with olive oil and vinegar. I'm sorry. He treated his, his wounds with olive oil and wine. I don't know where my mind was beyond food. <laughs> and bandaged them. Then he put him on his donkey and took him to an inn where he took care of him. The next morning he gave the innkeeper two silver cents and said, Please take care of the man. If you spend more than this on him, I will pay you when I return. Then Jesus asked, Which one of these three people were a real neighbor to the man who was beaten up by the robbers? The teacher answered, The one who showed pity. Jesus said, Go and do the same. Martha and Mary. The Lord and his disciples were traveling along and came to a village. When he got there, a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. She had a sister named Mary who sat down in front of the Lord and was listening to what he had to say. Martha was worried about all that had been done. Finally, she went to Jesus and said, Lord, doesn't it bother you that my sister has left me to do all the work to myself? Tell her to come and help me. The Lord answered, Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about so many things, but only one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen what is best, and it will not be taken away from her. Glory be to higher. The Lord wants you to hear him. Hallelujah. Well, God's willing, on Monday we'll come back, still in the book of Luke, chapter 11, prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You all tell your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. He didn't die for one of some. He died for us all. If you haven't given your life to Christ Jesus, what are you waiting for? Choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. You can't serve two masters. You can't serve uh, Jesus and mammon. You can't do it. Okay. Father God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. That's not something up for debate or discussion. It's something we all must do. So please do it. And if you have any unforgiveness in your heart, please let it go. If you want your Father in heaven to forgive you for your sins and your transgressions, please forgive your fellow man. If you don't, he won't forgive you either. Not only that, your, your prayers may be hindered. I'm just telling you the truth. I always tell you the truth because I love you and Father God loves you more. You will have yourself a beautiful, blessed day and a beautiful, blessed weekend as well. Stay safe and be careful. I love you all with the love of the Lord and Father God loves you more. From smallest to greatest alike, God bless you. Bye-bye.